All right, so I wanted to make a quick video doing the math showing you just how inaccurate he was saying that there was three times the lifetime limit of PFOS in one single prime grape drink. Guess how much PFOS were in the product, in the drink? Three times the amount that you should have in your lifetime in PFOS from drinking water. In one prime hydration drink, they found three times the amount of PFOS that you should consume in drinking water in your life. That's PFOS or PFOS, not PFOs. All right, so the claim in the lawsuit was that there was three times the lifetime advisory limit. I explained that in the last video, so I'm not gonna explain that again, but the lawsuit is alleging essentially that there is 0 0.06 parts per trillion of PFOS in prime grape drink. I also explained in the previous video how that's much lower than detection levels and much lower than the recently set MCL for drinking water. So this is not saying the claims in the lawsuits are true or that they were even able to detect this low level in this drink. This is just talking about this claim that this lawyer made regarding the three times the lifetime limit in one single prime grape drink because I just wanted to show you how ridiculous that claim was. All right, so let's say they're actually actually was 0 0.06 parts per trillion found. One prime drink is half a liter and one part per trillion is one nanogram per liter. Therefore, 0 0.06 parts per trillion and half a liter would be 0 0.03 nanograms. So that lifetime advisory level was 0 0.02 parts per trillion. And that was a concentration based on drinking that level in water over a lifetime. So 0 0.02 parts per trillion is 0 0.02 nanograms per liter. Let's just assume that you're drinking two liters of water per day at this level. And let's say you live until you're 80 years old. So that resulting amount over a lifetime would end up being about 1200 nanograms over your lifetime. Three times that would be about 3000 nanograms. So this is the amount he is claiming is in one single prime grape drink. When in reality, again, assuming the level in the lawsuit is correct, which we shouldn't assume, but assuming it is correct, it would actually be 0 0.03 nanograms in one single bottle. And he's claiming there's around 3,000 nanograms in one bottle. So the amount he's claiming is in one bottle of that drink is over 116,000 times more than what's being stated in the lawsuit. This is such a huge issue with social media. You have somebody that has, has asserted himself as an expert. Maybe he's an expert in law, clearly not an expert in this topic. And then people are taking him to know what he's talking about when it comes to this when clearly he does not. So I, yeah, I just wanted to go through that math because it is quite outrageous when you understand just how incorrect that claim was.